Hey, this portion is brought to you by Migoreng. Di hamak na mas masarap kesa sa Charot lang, pero Migoreng, baka naman. Hey you guys, what's up? This is Louie. And Wednesday na naman, it only means Hello Stranger. And this time, episode 6. So, saan tayo nahinto? Yes, alam naman natin na nahinto tayo sa isang pinaka-crucial na point where Savior confesses using a song, which is dinedicate niya for Miko. Dito tayo yata mag-start exactly where we left off. So, huwag na natin patagilin. I'm really excited kasi um, one week din natin itong inyantay. So, eto na. Okay, dun agad sa song. Mag-start. Sorry, medyo umuulan. I mean, malakas yung ulan sa labas. Sana hindi masyadong malakas yung ulan. Still gets me. <laughs> the song is for somebody who is really special to me. It's kind of a little bit of a little bit Make me make as a joke. Joke, yeah, no. Oh, 
Then the name! Uh, I have to. Eh? No! No! Oh, na jinx ko yata! Na jinx ko yata! Heartbreak. Nako. Ito na ba yun? Be mine, milk tea. Yun yung tatak ng milk tea. Be mine. parang kasalanan ni Miko kung bakit siya umiiyak sa first episode. I think self-inflicted. Ligo si Jun Jun, good mood. Friends. 
Sorry talaga. Sa tingin ko, mas magiging okay talaga tayo pag sinabi mo yung mystery crush mo. Diba? Mismo. Mismo. Kaka sorry ko lang, diba? Saka ayoko naman mag-iit na naman ng mundo. Baka ba binigyan yung mga sa'yo? Ito naman ayaw pa. Uy, pero no pressure, ha? You can tell us kapag ready ka na. No pressure, pero tell us. Okay. Si Xavier. <gasps> Umamin si Bad... Hindi naman masyado, Miko. Masyado kasi these past few weeks, eh, siya lang naman yung mukhang bibig mo eh. Oo nga. Sisibig kasi ganito. Sisibig kasi ganyan. Oo. Diba? Pag nakalanda ka ba yung sinabi mo, Miko? Guys, professional relationship natin. Ang cute! Ang sweet naman ang friends! Hello, we are the Miko. What's that about the game? You put me in the best mood that I love the most. It's a lot, but I guess you made it okay. Oh, I just want to hug Miko. No, no, Miko, what's going on? Oh, God, I just want to hug Miko. Pwede lang tayo magkita-kita. Sayang happy po kayo talaga. Oo, ako din. O, ayan. Smile na tayo, ha? Happy-happy na tayo sa hapa. Happy na tayo na. Tengah mangit iya ni saya. Kau tak nak mendung kauan? Saya tak sari nak kau. Tapi mahu bikin dan mahu sari. Yes, yes, yes. Bila kau ibu bapa? Bapa? First time ni. kailangan ng lakas ng loob. Kukay. Oh, Hindi pwede! Ang anin? Bakit ba ayaw mo pupunta yun sa inyo? <laughs> Hindi, Sef. Ba't ka ba pupunta? Kasi nga may gusto akong sabihin sa inyo. Kailangan ko. Oh. Eh, sabihin mo lang ngayon. Kukay. Okay. Oh my God! 
なのが見えないんですよ。あれもこっちに行くようにしても。Understood na ba yun? Hey! My girl Crystal! Yeah, may pa-cover ko na no? Pero, I really appreciate this. Sobrang thank you. Pero alam mo ba, that was actually Mika's idea. For me to upload it. Oh. Oh. That's nice of him naman pala. Super good influence pala yung si Miko sa'yo, ha? Honestly, he is. I mean, I went into this project thinking that I could just half-ass things. Teka, 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 teka. Nadidustak ako sa... Bakit ganyan? Teka, um... Ah... Wait, um... Ah... Savior, um... Kasi, ah... Medyo, um... Kailangan mo yatang magsaluwal. Hahaha. Sorry, sorry. Tak pakai nak nak kau, tapi sudah mampu konsentrate. But now I'm realizing that. Who am I kidding? I should really take things more seriously, and I should definitely stop taking things for granted. Eh, well, sorry, tapi pada nak he's with you for the project. I know. It's just, I don't know. I feel like I let him down. Why? Well, we were getting along really well, and then I don't know. But then I learned to get cold. So what did you do when you were making the big thing? So I can work in it. Oh my god! What? Yung parang dapat na inis ako kasi nandito si Crystal, but but I like I like it, I like it. You know, girl, you have that intuition. You follow it instead of antagonizing it. Kulit naman na ito ni Miko makakasa. Ano ba? Chapi ka ba? Ah, sige po. Bata. Ang trap na ito ni Miko! Is he waiting? Crystal! You 
did that upon yourself, Nico. And I'm really sorry to tell you that it's your fault. Hey, we're here. Where episode one started. Nag full circle na tayo mga kaibigan. Lamentation. As, as much as I'm I pity me go. Find it. I know, I don't know. I don't know what to feel about this episode. Well, first off, it is self inflicted. It's he did that to himself. Ang dali lang naman sabihin na thank you or ano, hindi na lang sana niya dinaan sa biro. Pero I mean, siguro dahil yun niya, wala pa siyang courage to face those kinds of feelings. And first time niya sa mga ganong klaseng um, confrontation, nabigla siya. And instead of fight, nag-flight siya into retreating into retreating it into a joke so medyo masakit masakit isipin na na nauwi sa ganun I mean, ang ganda na ng build up eh tapos na uwi sa joke everything went haywire dun sa conversation na yun after nilang i-dismiss yung idea na joke lang lahat and it's so sad at that moment, my heart already broke. Wala pa yung mga iyakan, wala pa yung mga, wala pang crystal and everything. Doon pa lang, nung sinabi pa lang nila, joke lang. But I called it sa last episode, sa re- last episode reaction ko, sinabi ko na, na dada- babalik si crystal. And she did. I like how Crystal made it back na hindi siya parang kontrabida. She has this aura of kumbaga mabait naman talaga siya. Siguro naging demanding lang siya in the past episodes. Pero this time nakita natin yung dynamics ni Crystal with Savior nung siguro nung sila pa, ganun sila. So okay naman pala siya. Hindi naman pala siya maarte, prima donna or something. She's kind of cool, actually. For for me, ah. 
Hindi siya kontrabidang kontrabida ang dating. I feel like she has this certain intuition na nababasa niya talaga si Savior sa, kung, sa mga body language at kung paano niya i-describe si Nico. And that's something... That, that is something innate sa mga girls eh. Yun nga, sabi nila may women's intuition. And I think that would help in the end. I hope. Ha? I hope. Sana kasing understanding ni Crystal sila sila uh, Kukay, Junjun, and Seth. And speaking of Junjun, Seth, and Kukay, <laughs> I really like how they at least may saving grace yung may saving grace yung episode through Kukay and Seth. Na hindi naman laging heart, hindi naman puro heartbreak yung episode. At least happy naman ng kinalabasan ng kay Seth and Kukay. I mean, kung hindi pa sila man hindi, kung hindi pa naman siguro sila diyan after noon, 'di ba? Yun na yun, yun na yun, understood na yun para sa akin at least. It's a good follow-up episode for the last episode that we had. Pero for me, favorite episode ko pa rin talaga yung last, yung episode 5. I, I really love it. If only we could stay, if only we could stay in that episode and, you know, savor it. So that's it. Thank you so much for watching with me ng episode 6. Abangan natin ulit ang episode 7. And also, shout out to Amiel de Torres. Hello! And to answer your question, he's not my jowa, he's my cousin, yung sumilip sa last episode. So, he's asking me some cooking stuff. So, I cut it kasi medyo hahaba. Pero, he's my cousin. And thank you daw if you find him cute. <laughs> and thank you so much for watching, Emil. Hope you continue watching my videos. And sana kahit yung mga susunod na videos na gagawin ko, panoorin mo pa rin. Thank you so much. So, thank you so much for watching. Don't forget to leave your comments down below. Kwentuhan tayo doon. Like this video, subscribe to my channel, and don't forget to do the thing with the bell icon. Alam niyo na yun. Thank you so much, and I'll see you on my next video. Bye!